the government has very, very, very concrete plans to ensure that farmers in this region are supported uh, right from production to even post-harvest management. And in fact, we can see the impact of the fertilizer subsidy that the government introduced early this year. We can see production. We can see the kind of uh, yield that we are expecting. And we are very happy because I think in another two months, shortage of maize, shortage of food in this country will be a thing of the past. We are now focusing on post-harvest management and therefore the government has rolled out a plan, a plan to ensure that national cereals and produce board depots are repaired, rehabilitated, refurbished, so that it will be ready to receive these produce from the farmers. Secondly, we are going to repair and make sure all the dryers in Moisbridge, in Eldoret, in Narok, in Bungoma, in Mosuriot, and other depots that they are working so that it will be easier for farmers to dry their maize and ensure that when they store their maize, they will store their maize knowing very well that it will not go to waste. We have also come up with what we call warehouse receipting system, where private sector players will come up with the stores of their own, which are going to be certified. And the farmers will be using these stores only for storage, but their produce will remain to be theirs, and they can use the receipt that they are going to get to get whatever emergency funds that they require, waiting for the time when the prices are right for them to sell. So the private sector, the government, national government, and the county government are to join forces, and we have done so to ensure that we manage post-harvest issues that have been a problem for a long time. And I want to urge all the farmers not to take their maize on roads, even the traders themselves. Take your maize to natural cereals and produce board. Let it be tried. If you want to take them back home, fine. But natural cereals and produce board will even provide a space for you to keep your maize if you are not selling that time. So we are very clear and we want to make sure that farming is a business and there is comfort in farming. We are going to ensure that all feeder roads the ones that the county governments are, are going to do, the ones that the national government through CARA are going to do, we repair them, we ensure them, we ease the activities around agricultural areas so that farmers can save, so that farmers can have efficient system, efficient network to enable them also not to lose in terms of returns. We want to balance the consumers and the producers so that all of us will be happy and therefore we want to urge all of us to ensure that we invest in farming we invest in different businesses and we invest along the value chain so that we will have those who are producing we will have those who are going to store we have those who are going to retail and this country will move forward in that manner Serikali iko na mpango ya kusaidia mkulima sio fertilizer peke yake mnaona hata Kenya seed tuko na new management tunataka wa wahakikishe kwamba mbegu ile inatoka huko ni mbegu ile sasawa mbegu ile itasaidia wakulima wapate eh, masao kwa njia ile nafaa ili ukipata kwa njia nafaa bei iwe sawa upate fertilizer na utunze mzuri tunajua kwamba njaa itapotea ya pili utapata pesa ile unaweza kujisaidia kama ni shule kama ni hospitali kama ni kupanua kununua mashamba kama ni maendeleo ingine au lingine itakuwa mzuri 
So sisi kama serikali tuko tayari kabisa kuhakikisha kwamba mkulima amesaidiwa ili afanye kazi kazi yake kwa njia mzuri. Tuko na madryas kwa makaundis nyingi area hii. Sile zinaitwa kwa mobile dryers. Na tumesunguka tumepata kwamba tuko na karibu na mobile dryers karibu 36. So tunafanya repair ili isaidie wakulima. Sasa hizo ma mobile tra- eh, dryers itakuwa tu ikitembea tembea kwa ma villages isaidie wananchi ili mahindi siharibike kwa pasto. Na tunaendelea ku, kupanga kununua ma dryers karibu sabini ingine ili tu itumike kwa Kenya yote. Kwa sababu mumeweka bidii sana kwa shamba. Mashamba yenu mumetunza, mumehakikisha kwamba mumepanda na mahindi tutapata mzuri hatutaki tupate shida kwa ile kitu inaitwa post harvest management 